Hello everyone, and welcome back to Growing Up, the life simulator game where there are literally hundreds and hundreds of choices and options and possible events that unfold themselves in front of you. And we are back to year three of Little Series Life as we get ready to figure out how to prepare for our very first life exam with our preschool. And I'm not exactly sure how we're going to like prep for that. However, I do know that I wanna play with a bunny. I've been really kind of overwhelmed a little bit thinking about like all the different skills that you can actually go ahead and start unlocking thinking about all of the different ways that we could potentially lead our life forward and in the end instead of worrying about mid maxing it or like making the most of things this time around we're just gonna go ahead and follow our hearts and see where that takes us in life and I'm already in love with this because I love life simulator games so I predict there will be many generations of these and it'll be really fun to see all of the new hidden skills this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we're three years old. <laughs> this has nothing to do with like a future potential jobs we could have or friends or all of the huge complex things that actually show up through the game of growing up. So I'm just kind of stunned slash overwhelmed by how much there is to do. All right, meanwhile, we could either go ahead and right now we have 20 action points. If we wait until we use our action points at home, I think we improve our memory by either playing with jigsaw puzzles or watching TV. We could play with the slide to gain a bunch of empathy, which I think we'll probably do. Or we could play with the jigsaw puzzle to gain some more intelligence and mental well-being. You wanna take good care of your mental well-being. Uh, this time around, I think we're gonna play with the slide. Oh dear. Oh, hey, yes, but we have now unlocked it. Okay, we definitely wanna work on that. Let's try again. All right, I have definitely like goofed on the slide a little bit, but that's gonna have to be okay. Meanwhile, we're gonna have our neurons start growing a little bit more. And it looks like we need some physique. Let's do physique and imagination. And then I need a lot more knowledge points if we're going to be able to unlock the basics of pet care. So let's just collect all of those and then slowly work our way over to more empathy because I think the more empathy points we have, the easier it will be to actually uh, get pet care. So we're gonna, yes, okay. So there's empathy points. And then I'll collect as much knowledge and some imagination points. All right, so now that we have done that, We've already done the whole, we've spent the whole first part of the day at preschool. So now we can go ahead and go home. Oh wait, I can unlock pet care basics. Oh, I also probably should learn the alphabet though. Uh, I really want to play with the bunnies. <laughs> I did it. All right, we're going to play with the bunnies. All right, so now we're home. We can't watch cartoons because we are actually out of action points for the day. We're too tired from playing on the slide at preschool. So let's go ahead and schedule some things. Oh, we could schedule entertainment. Oh, that's useful. So we can do gardening, which would be plus two empathy, or the better one that we've now got is pet care basics. And we can also do slide. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to try slide again because I want to see if we can do mastery of the slide. And then it's just pet care all the way down. All right, maybe pet care and then slide again because I want to make sure we don't lower our mental well-being too much. We are just a little preschooler. Oh, dang it. I really flopped that slide. Ah, the bunny! <laughs> Attack of the bunny! Oh, yes, we did it! Okay, that's good. All right, I've really got to figure out this slide thing. I'm very uncoordinated. <gasps> New skill available, light synthesis. What? 300 empathy. I wonder if I can eat sun rays. Learning or mastering the skill increases exam readiness. Okay, so we do need to master more skills for exam readiness. So let me see the skill tree. Let's see. So we can do light synthesis. I don't think you can do everything in life. I think I, I need to learn my alphabet as much as I, I wish I could do other things. All right, I'm gonna play on the slide because today I wanna master the slide. Why am I so bad at the slide? <laughs> oh, my, this poor child, I am just terrible at the slide. Uh, meanwhile, okay, so now that we did that, oh, what's this? Tap the next map neuron to reset the brain map and receive a large amount of additional brain points. Remember, you cannot exceed your brain point limit total. All right, what? What? So I guess if I messed up, I could reset these. All right, looks like I need to start working on memory or empathy. 
And you have to have 300 empathy in order to do light synthesis. And I need more knowledge points either way. So I'm going to work on big empathy. Um, oh, increase my brain points by 10? Why have I not noticed that? Oh my gosh, that's so important. I feel like such a goose. It's probably been popping up before and I just didn't notice. All right, so we need that for sure. And I do need to learn the alphabet. So I think the best way to do that might be the physique down here. Let's do physique knowledge. Aha, uh -huh. next map, regenerate the brain math and increase brain points by 40. Whoa. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna do this memory bump to try to get a little closer there. I want knowledge and then increase brain points by 40. <gasps> so if you find it, you can keep going? Or did it reset everything? So I lost stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up top next time to see if I lost things, cause that would be bad. However, ooh, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. More knowledge. Okay, I need a lot of those knowledge points. And then I need some more empathy. I need to get my empathy to 300. Okay, there we go. So empathy is now above 300, so I could get light synthesis if I had enough knowledge points. And if I lowered how much the empathy cost. And I need to learn my alphabet. I really think that that's super important. Oh, there's more brain points! More brain points! <laughs> how long have I been, like, just not helping my little brain grow? Because <laughs> I didn't notice that there were more brain points available. Gosh darn. All right, let's work on our intelligence a little. And then physique. Because physique has been kind of neglected. And then let's do more knowledge points. <gasps> Next brain map and regenerate by 40. Oh my gosh. Yes, and you keep it. Okay, this is this is this is a game changer. I guess it's because we're older, so we're starting to be able to learn like a little bit more every time. Um maybe if I do memory so I can learn my alphabet and then increase brain points and then knowledge knowledge knowledge. Yes. Oh my gosh. Knowledge knowledge. All right, empathy, intelligence. All right. Oh, I'm running out. Okay. Um, intelligence. Oh, is there anything else? Can I, can I use this one? Not enough brain points. Gosh darn. All right. Let's do, let's do more imagination or more memory. All right. We'll do memory because I'm desperate to go ahead and be able to learn the alphabet. Yeah, man, this is hard. Our brain map is growing so much more now. I am so grateful for that. Uh, we're close to being able to go ahead and do light synthesis, but it's definitely important to learn the alphabet now because I want to be able to read and that increases our exam readiness. And even though it sucks, let's learn how to write numbers now because I think that that's very, very important, even though I just want to spend my whole time like just working on the nature skill tree. <laughs> But we need to unlock mathematics and we need to unlock literacy because I think that's going to help us out in the future. All right, now we're home and we have a schedule. I want to finish figuring out the darn slide. Um, and then we can now gain memory or intelligence. Ooh, and actually, if we learn the alphabet, my very own... Oh, because we we've unlocked the skill, but we haven't mastered it. All right, we're going to do the alphabet. And then we're going to play with the pets. All right, let's see how this goes. Finally! <laughs> I can't believe it took me forever to master the slide. Yay! And we mastered the alphabet, which will unlock a new skill. And we just mastered pet care basics. Boom! So now we can do writing and comparing quantities, which is an important thing when you're a wee little kid. Uh, all right, and we mastered the slide, which is excellent. Our exam readiness. Oh, this is the last turn. <laughs> okay, I am definitely gonna need some more for exam readiness. Uh, let's go to brain map. Oh man, okay. So I need more knowledge. I, I don't think we're gonna get enough intelligence to do comparative quantities. So let's focus on writing. Mm, I need to get down there to memory. All right, let's do memory for a little bit. Knowledge points, definitely need knowledge points. Um. Oh man, we could do empathy. Let's do imagination, empathy, brain points, yes. Memory, yes, okay. Uh, let's see, oh man, I really hope we stumble on some of those map pieces. Okay, I think we can go ahead. We've unlocked writing. I don't know if that's gonna prep us enough for the upcoming events. 
Um, all right, there's brain points, thank goodness. There's knowledge points. Okay, there's empathy points. Oh man, oh man, we could do intelligence. Are we not going to get lucky this time and be able to find... There's knowledge points, knowledge points, memory points, brain points! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, okay. Intelligence! <laughs> Dang it! Okay, we're out of brain points this time. <laughs> I guess our third year of growth was just like the most extreme. And I can't... Ah, I can't unlock another skill. Oh boy. Alright, well, um... Let's slide, because I have a couple action points, and that does make me happy. You know what? We're in preschool. It's not about mid-max in life. It's just about being a happy kid. All right. Meanwhile, there's the exam now. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Our very first exam. You could have F to D. Okay. Tap the attributes to collect them. Each tap collects all the adjacent attributes of the same type as well. Once you have enough attributes, tap tasks to complete them and increase your total score. Okay. And then get as many points as possible to reach the highest grade. Keep in mind you have a limited number of available moves. Oh boy. We're in preschool. I shouldn't panic. We have a lot of empathy points right here. We've got a lot of uh, knowledge points right here. It doesn't look like empathy gets us anything. Written numbers, simple punctuation, vowels, odd numbers, and alphabetical order. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. But if I get empathy out of the way, I think, yeah, that'll collapse a whole bunch of the other pieces on top of each other. So now we can do odd numbers. And if I keep going, okay, I think that'll get a whole bunch of our memory together. So let's do those. Woo, look at that. Okay, so I think we only have 11 moves left, so I want to be really careful about this. Um, let's do simple punctuation. <gasps> Gardening instruments, yes! Oh my gosh, so that did give us a bunch of points. Okay, and then let's do alphabetical order. Uh, and then pet training. Oh, and berries. Oh, okay, okay. I, I see the flow of this. Let's do odd numbers. Okay, and now let's do this. And then this. That didn't give me as many as I was hoping. Okay, and then we can do pet naming. That gives us a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I, I really hope we can manage this. Oh, we're still at a D. Okay, Um. let's see. Counting points, counting points. So let's do counting. All right, we're at a D. There's a ton of empathy there, and I'm gonna need a lot of knowledge. Okay, there's memory. So let's see. Plant watering, I think gives us, and then plant breeding gets us a bunch. Vowels would get us a bunch, but berries would get us there too. Four-legged animals. There's vowels. Oh, we're almost to an A! Wow, okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Um, all right, let's do knowledge. And now I have enough knowledge to unlock some of these other things. And then maybe lucky numbers or science construction. Let's do this one. And then I think this is 16, this is 16, so they're equal. So, oh wait, this one's 16 points, I see, I see. Never mind, they're not equal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so I think I can get four-legged animals. Boom. Oh, and then you can get like a genius point. Look at that, you guys. We almost made it. We got an A on our exam. Boom. Final grade completed, 161 points. We got a bunch of knowledge. Oh, so happiness and knowledge, like mental well-being and knowledge happen from our exam. And now, ta-da! We're in school school! <laughs> so we can do spelling and we can do geography. Welcome to elementary school. It's time to take your education up a notch. Your parents, oh my gosh, the parental satisfaction is something now. Your parents will expect more and more of you. You will need, need to make sure they are satisfied with your efforts. The more skills you schedule, the higher your parent satisfaction will be. On the other hand, entertainment activities will lower parent satisfaction. Similar to your mental health, make sure your parent's satisfaction stays above zero or else you'll face serious penalties. Well, they can deal. <laughs> All right, so now we are in elementary school. Let's see what our skill trees are looking like. 
pretty similar. I think it's similar at this age. We don't touch any of our skill trees for babies uh, just yet. And I guess maybe you get to inherit the idea of what the skill trees are from... Oh, expectations? <gasps> you can end up with expectations on you? Oh boy, and pride? Okay, so that's like our self-confidence and our sense of pride now. Oh boy, so spelling, and then geography, and then comparative quantities, and there's light synthesis. So I think we want to work on maybe spelling? Boy! Brain hex points and action, action point hexes increase your brain point and action point limits respectively. Tap on them to get more brain or action points in each new turn. Oh my gosh. And what's this charm? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so much new stuff. What the heck? Well, let's go for imagination at the moment and maybe some intelligence, knowledge points, knowledge points. Let's do a little bit of charm, big imagination. Big charm, brain points. Let's see, let's do memory. Big charm, knowledge points. I think we'll collect up. Okay, what do we need? I need memory actually, uh, because that's going to help us out with being able to learn spelling. I need memory and I need a lot of knowledge points. Oh man, I wish we had that lucky reset we had. We had like the best year when we were only three. <laughs> And now I'm out of memory points, gosh darn. All right, well, you know what? Let's just learn light synthesis, the end. I just, I, I know what I want. All right, let's go home after school. Your parents are waiting for you when you come home. Kiddo, we need to talk. Is everything okay? So we've been talking to each other and now we're talking with you. Remember, there's an outside. There's clubs, sports, the extras. They can really enhance your life. Is this about me going out more? Yes. We just have your best interest at hearts, kiddo. Um, I'll think about it. All right, I'll think about it. The sun can be all right sometimes. I guess you could just be like an indoor, like, what am I? I'm a kindergartner. <laughs> I should be indoors, not in kindergarten. Kids today don't spend enough times outdoors. Well, mom, don't be like, like that. Book the trend. Just don't waste your time on worthless amusement. Jeez. Okay, I don't know about them. From now on, your parents will set additional goals for you to complete. Complete expectations to gain rewards, like additional satisfaction points. Failure to complete expectations within a turn limit will result in penalties. Oh, great. So perform non-entertainment activities outside six times. You should get some fresh air. Three turns left. So my parents really want me to do that, but I'll be really proud if I do it. So... There's an expectations tab and proud point, pride points. It's a special currency you can use to request gifts from my parents. Oh, I see. There are many gift categories you can choose from. You can use the filters to switch between different gift categories. Gifts will unlock new locations and activities. Trips will raise your mental health and, oh, I could go on trips, are you kidding me? and selection select attributes and if you raise your parent satisfaction to proud you can even make special requests <gasps> click on the items to see the descriptions of their effects and to buy them what oh my gosh you could go to you could go to a beach if you make them proud enough spend the rest of your turn on a trip to raise your mental health oh look at that increase empathy and charm you can go on a ski trip oh my gosh there's different oh cute <laughs> Oh, look, and they come in different colors. Oh, that's fun. So you can try to like really differentiate your style. I would love a butterfly shirt. Special request. So it looks like highlight sticky notes and daily planner. Oh, you can add another schedule slot. Five action point cap and five brain point cap. Oh my gosh. And then there's arcade tickets um to unlock locations a gallery snakes and ladders for board games listen to music building models so you can request those different things depending on how proud you are of your life accomplishments too uh and then here's my wardrobe so you can request like different wardrobe things that's so cool so perform non-entertainment outside activities six times so i think i can only go <laughs> but i can only go home <laughs> what the heck all right, so non-entertainment outside activity six times. Uh, does that mean like light synthesis? Where from scheduling, my parents will be proud of it. And I can, if I master light synthesis, I would like that. I could go play on the slide too, uh, which I think is outside. 
That might count. I kind of want to do light synthesis a few times. Four times apparently masters it. Um, and then I should probably practice my writing. Even though that's, like, a lot of that's not going to make me very happy. Uh, hang on. What are my parents? Uh, non-entertainment outdoor activities. All right. Well, all right. Fine. Uh, outdoor, non-entertainment. Hmm. You know what? I don't think... We'll see what light synthesis does. All right. Is that going to make my parents proud of me? Yay! I had good luck with light synthesis. Yay! All right. And I mastered it. So I actually gained a ton of empathy from that. And it looks like I made my parents very proud. And I made them proud while I was practicing my writing, even though it was hard. It's recess. Kids are doing the things kids do. Playing with blocks, reading books with big print on it. One kid in the corner is playing with the xylophone. It's strange. It actually doesn't sound terrible, almost like real music. This is the cutest, like, at least my parents are sending me to a really fancy, very nice school. C, D, F, F. He seems to be muttering about the names of the notes as he plays them. Um, let's tell him it sounds good. That's really good. How'd you learn to do that? He looks a bit scared, like a deer in headlights. Uh, then before you can say anything else, he picks up the xylophone and moves to hide on the other side of a bookcase. A few moments later, you hear the notes floating up and over again. Recess ends shortly after that. Oh, I scared him. Oh, and I know about food chains now. Oh, my, like, exit. <laughs> There's already another exam coming for the end of elementary school. And we can go to the library. Oh, my gosh. School locations are only accessible while you're at school. So, oh, I could go to the library now. What the heck? I hope I don't grow up too fast. This is all going by very quick. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, just two more, two more. J thank you so much for joining me on uh, this adventure of growing up. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.